Hey everyone, welcome back to another SFUI Figma tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering something a little bit more interesting and probably commonly used by a lot of people from an e-commerce library that is the product card. So the product card is interesting because it's one of the most common like generic components that you're going to be using across all of your e-commerce themes that you create. So um, I'm just going to be showing how you can customize it and just to kind of have a frame of reference of what we're trying to customize to, I just pulled up Steve Madden's website and we're going to be using um, this product card as an example of what we want to make. Um, so yeah, like these usually like, you might think that this is something that you have to like go start and create from the beginning every time and create from scratch every time, but these are actually very generic and you'll start to see that as we customize this component. Um, so here we can see basically there's an image that when we hover on, there's an alternate image that shows. Uh, there's the name, there's the price, uh, there's some additional text. We can just call this like secondary text. And then there's the reviews of the product if there are any. So pretty straightforward, pretty standard card component, not like anything that's, it. I think it's not like super basic. It's not like this is what you're going to run into when you go to most e-commerce companies to build their product card out. So let's come over here and let's take a look at our component. So out of the box, there's, this is all that, these are all the slots that are available to you within the product card. So you have a badge that you can put anything, like any kind of description in, or some kind of additional text. And you have a wish list button over here that you can choose when to show and hide. And you have a slot to show kind of like a quick add to cart menu. So if you don't want to have the user navigate to the product detail page, they can click this and kind of do like a quick add to cart. And then you have product name, uh, price, and reviews. So already I see that really all we need is the image, um, the title, uh, the price, and the reviews. So um, this is the element component. So there's a desktop one and a mobile one. You'll see on mobile um, there's no like add to cart button or anything because on mobile there's no hover state. Um, if, you're, if you've been using this file from before, you'll see that there's this whole deprecated section because within new auto layout, um, you don't need to really make all of these separate components. If you just really understand how the component works, you can do everything from a single component. So just to make everybody's life easier, I've just added, a, you can create on desktop a standard, like a normal card, a resting card, and a hover card. And on mobile, there's just one card. So let's start with the desktop one, because I think that's the most interesting one that we'll take a look on how to recreate it in mobile. Over here in our card, so if there's something that you wanna change in both of these cards, you would go into the element and change that here. And then if there's something that you want to show or hide, anything that you don't see here but you see in the master is just hidden in this section over here. So let's say in our resting component, a resting state of the component, we want to show a badge. So we can just turn that on and you can see this resting instance of that component now has the badge turned on. Um, alternatively, if you want to change the product image, this master image component exists just for this. So basically all of the imagery you're going to be using on your website when you create your mockups, you store in this component and then you can just come here and just toggle on and off different images that you might want to use in certain scenarios. So in this scenario, we could say that on the resting state, we want this image and then on our hover, we want an alt. So just to show that ideally you'd have an alternate version of this image right here. But just to show our, actually, you know what? I have a way to do this. We can use um, the product page image. And then over here, we can use our product page image too. And we can, so here when we switch over to hover, we have that effect that Steve Madden has, which is we show an alternate image of the product. Um, we're gonna want to turn on our badge over here too. So that's consistent, but uh, actually, you know what, since we're creating the Steve Madden component, let's just leave the badge off. Um, alternatively, on hover, a lot of people like to have the wish list icon show up, so now when you just toggle between your hover state, you're going to have that icon. Uh, but again, that's not something that's in the Steve Madden one. 
so already we're pretty close to what we had over there. They didn't have the quick add to cart button, so I'm gonna turn off the circle icon for this. And you can see that without doing almost anything, we're already pretty much at a skeleton level where Steve Madden is. So you know what, just to have some fun, let's go and add their fonts to this too. Trade Gothic is bold. LTS bold, let's see if we even have that. All right, so it seems like that might be kind of like a Steve Madden specific thing. So let's just use kind of like a generic thing that might be similar to what they have. It's not exactly that, but it's kind of similar. And then their price is, let's see what their price is. Yeah, so for that we would come over here and update this price font. I'm not gonna go and change the old font because I can't be bothered to put in that much effort. So now, when we go back, um, so now when we go back, we have this. Uh, let's make it light, just to make it kind of similar. So there we go. So now our fonts kind of look similar to what that is. And there's also a count here that we can see. So we can come over here and basically the way this would work when you hand this off to a developer is there's slots. So you could use the product title slot and just expand it with, instead of just using one tag for this, you can add another tag uh, for um, this color available section. Actually, you know, let me just show you what I mean exactly. Um, so yeah, basically you can see these are all slots that you have, which are basically empty HTML slots that you can write whatever markup you in. So in our scenario, um, this is kind of next to the reviews thing. So even though it doesn't like semantically make a whole lot of sense, you could still use the review slot and add that secondary text above it. Uh, and here it doesn't like, we're not that constrained. We can just, um, Add a new text element, uh, bring it down here, and make it kind of like super small. Uh, and use like a text muted color. And we probably make it a little bit smaller. So there we go. So now we have all the slots where they should be in our product card. So now when we come down here, our product has this all set up exactly how we want it to be. I think we're already pretty close to what this should be. I think we can come over here and also kind of, for this instance specifically, let's make this kind of like a yellowish color just to match it up with what Steve Madden has. So now, when we toggle between hover and non-hover, we have exactly the card that we want and how it should look. So next I want to really quickly cover, um, so we've seen how to show and hide elements and how to customize them. Next I want to go into a little bit of a discussion about how to change the spacing between these elements in here. So the way to change the spacing is to go into the elemental component and there's a spacer right here. So spacer base is the default styling that's in the SFUI library component, but you can just come over here and change the spacing um, if you want. So you can make that kind of like a crazy number or you can bring it way down. Um, but yeah, so that's what that spacer, that's how you would change the padding between those. Um, within the content, if you want to add some padding, you can choose. I didn't think there was any need to, so I haven't added any spacers in here, but if you really want to quickly do something, you can just add like eight in here and add space between all of these. So that's how to really quickly change up the spacing between different components. Next, I want to talk about how you would go about changing the dimensions of this component, so height and width, stuff like that. So to change the width, all you have to do is make sure that your top level component is set to fixed and that your ins, your child, like your the nested element is set to fill container. So now whenever you change the width of your component, it's all gonna grow and shrink with that. So that's how to change the width. Um, next we have the height. So for the height, same thing, you wanna change your height to fixed width. 
and your children to fill a container. And one more thing that you're gonna have to do is go into the image uh, section of the product card and set this from fixed height to fill container. So now when you grow and shrink this, the image is gonna move along with whatever you change. So I think now we have a fully movable component. So yeah, it's all about just changing the way that this grow and shrink stuff works within that. So the good thing is, I think, if we move this up and then add some more text here, the image is going to shrink automatically. So the reason you may not want to do, like, have it all set to auto is because Instead, if you set this to hug content, this now starts wrapping. Oh, wait, one second. And you take this off of fill container and just set it to fixed height. So now when you change this, the card grows itself, which, one second. Um, set everything back to hug content. So basically, once you set everything back to hug contents, the card grows. So if you want the card to grow based on the content inside of it, so like if you hide the price, let's say, and you want the card to change dynamically, you're gonna have to set everything to hug the content. Uh, but yeah, um, so basically, yeah, that's how you would go in and um, customize the product card component. And then you can imagine how you can um, customize it from there further on and on and kind of really tune it to exactly what you need it to be. Oh yeah, and obviously if you don't want there to be a hover box shadow on your hover version of the card, you can just come in over here and take out the box shadow. And just to reapply it, it's called um, product card. And there's two, and I think this is the one that is the right one. It's basically called, yeah, hover, there we go. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully that helped you not have to make your own product card component over and over again and save you some, t some time customizing because this is really easy to code too if you're able to use this component.